Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kiyomi. This video is going to be a how to study kind of video. Um, I'm going to show you how I study and basically tips that you could use for your process of studying too. And basically as a person who gets high scores and struggles a bit with concentration um, this is what works for me and I'm going to show you what I do basically so if you are interested keep on watching okay so you need a little backup information um, today is April 3rd my exam week is in the week of April 15 and to be honest this is my first time studying less than two weeks before this is my first time first time ever i normally start studying like three weeks um or four weeks before the exam week so um i'm kind of nervous i know that i can make it but i'm nervous because i didn't do this before um so i have to work hard i think um, even though we only have two exams this semester but I'm going to do my best to still pass all the classes okay so the first thing I'm going to do is go on the school website we use blackboard and basically um, go and find the course outline of the courses I have to do an exam for um, I have this first one here. I'm going to look for a course outline to um, see how many chapters I need to study for the exam and um, basically to make my schedule of how I'm going to study, how I'm going to divide the chapters per day and so on. In this case, I don't really need the course outline because I found this in the course documents. Um, I have the chapters here, so as you can see, all these chapters I have to study um, and I'm going to write them on an empty sheet um, I'm going to write all the chapters and I'm going to do the same for the other course this one is called economics of money and banking And I'm going to write it like this, chapters 3, 4, 5, 6, 10. Oh yeah, that's it. So I write it like this and I'm going to do the same for the other one. The other one is called strategic management. I'm going to number them in this case it's only two like I mentioned and chapters I'm going to look for the course outline of this here I have the chapters um, you have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 basically until chapter 19 that's a lot but we got some like tips from the teacher today on which chapters to focus on but i'm going to um, do that later for now i'm going to write all these chapters basically one till 19. i'm just going to put it like this one till 19. okay so right now i'm going to pull the books of all the courses of the two courses Normally, I would say um, to pay attention in class and write your notes in class so it could be easier. Um, but the thing is, since high school, um, I would say that um, it's not that easy for me to participate in classes. I don't know, I have a problem with my concentration and I think that also plays a huge role in this. Um, but I basically just study at home. I do everything by myself. Um, only if we have to make 
some um, exercises i write the answers in class but other than that i don't really participate i don't really pay attention to everything so that's why i um study myself at home um i'm going to open the books of both courses and i'm going to go through um wait if you have powerpoint from the teacher it's a bonus um i only have powerpoint of the one of economics um yeah so that's easier because then i'm going to make my summary based on the powerpoint of the teacher so that would be very easy and the other one um i'm going to open the book because then i will have to go through the chapters in this case chapters not one till 19 and i'm going to go through them to see how many pages each chapter is and i'm going to divide it so i can make my summary um, based on the um, amount of pages and the amount of days I have to prepare. I'm going to start with the economics one because that's easier because I have the PowerPoint. I have this exam week files folder here and I'm pasting everything in here. This is the economics of money and banking one and now we are going to do the book. So in this case, um, the book of the strategic management class, um, the book consists of 20 chapters and I have to study until chapter 19. And also um, the book has like, you know, the introduction and so on. So I don't really need that to study. So what I'm going to do is to insert um, the book in the website freepdfconvert.com start it and then it uploads and the next thing i'm going to remove the pages i don't really need so like the cover page um the introduction and also chapter 20 maybe the if it has like a conclusion you know so i'm going to remove all those pages Wait, I can leave this one. I'm going to remove page 2 till 233. I write it like that and it basically like make the pages red. Um, I'm going to scroll down and then I'm going to remove everything after chapter 19. I just found out that um, these are the dates of the exams. The first one is on April 16th and the second one is on April 19th. So I have three more days for this one. So we are going to focus on this one for now. I have it on this date and we are here. So I have in total 13 days until the exam. But I have to finish before 13 because on these three days I'm going to learn it by heart and so i have to be done by 12. so i'm going to count this amount of days and divide the amount of slides in those days i'm currently editing the video right now and um, i realized that i forgot to tell you some things um what i mean with learn by heart is basically i keep repeating the stuff until it gets into my head. Um, what helps with this process at, is that I make my own summaries. So I already, I have already been to the stuff and it's like in my head already, but I keep repeating it till I know it by heart. Normally I um, do it like maybe half of um, today's task, I will split and learn it by heart in the morning and then the second half in the night because I cannot process a lot of stuff at one time. So um, that's how I do it. That's when um, there's no exercises and stuff. And um, with the other chapter, in this case economics, we have some exercises. So um, I keep practicing over and over again. like. Um, a lot of times there are a lot of exercises you can practice with. Most of the time 
I complete like most of the exercises. So that's what I do and um, I keep repeating it and then I learn like the terms and stuff but the exercises come first. Um, then I learn the terms and that's basically the same process as the um, one I already mentioned. So that's what I mean with learn by heart. I think that's the best for me. I think maybe if you participate in class it would be easier for you but other than that I would say to learn it by heart and also to understand what you're learning otherwise it's not going to make sense. I have 10 days here and I have 14 PowerPoint files um, so we are going to do it at least two PowerPoint slides a day. So I'm going to write it like this. Um, for the first one, I'm going to put it like this. One, day one, day two, day three. In this case, I have 10 days, but if I do two a day and I have 14, I'm going to finish on day seven. So I'm going to put it like this, chapter 1 and 2, so my parents are listening to the news so I hope you could hear me but um, I removed all the pages I don't need and I'm standing at 600 pages so that's a lot I don't know how I'm going to do this but basically I have more days for this one um, I'm going to only use two days to learn it by heart so I have more days like that um, and basically I have literally two weeks so I have 14 days so we have to use the 14 days to make the summary for 600 pages do it like this so i read um the pages i read mostly the highlighted things on the pages so i could write in my summary but remember that it's not every page that has important information some pages have exercises some pages have the summary of the chapter and i don't need that um also it's not i don't have to learn like the exercises i don't have to make them so i don't need that um, i'm going to skip all the pages who have um exercises and stuff so that would make it less and also there there are some figures that i don't need to learn you know so it's not 600 pages but it's still a lot normally i do like i read maximum 20 pages per day but in this case i don't have time this is my first time doing it like this so basically i'm going to divide 615 through 14 because i have 14 days and it's basically 44 pages per day i think i will have to do it like that i have to sacrifice something because it's my fault that i started learning um too late so oh my god that's going to be a lot but yeah i have to do it like that i have day one here and basically 44 pages like these are also in the pages but it don't it doesn't matter um i'm for the first day it's going to be easier because i will just write 44 um till page oh my god you don't have to look at my nails 44 till um, 88 so I'm going to keep doing it like this till I'm finished with the whole book but I have everything written here um, the first one till day 7 and the second one till day 14 and um, now we are going to make the schedule. I'm going to use another page for this and I'm going to open my calendar. I'm going to start today, um, which is April 3rd, and I'm going to write day one, basically the economics one. Economics, chapter one and two. 
um, I would say that it's basically like right here, um, April 3rd, Economics Day 1 and Day 2, um, Strategic, Tilt the Page, um, or Strategic Day 1. But I wouldn't do it like that because um, sometimes I just take a picture of my schedule like this and I don't know which one is day one or day two so it would be very confusing so that's why i write it like this so basically i'm going to um just make the schedule um combine the two every day every single day and because i don't have an enough time otherwise i would have taken a break like maybe a day or two of breaks but i don't have the time to do that So the next one is strategic and till page 44. I already said what I'm going to do and I'm going to continue until I'm finished until the exam date and then I will be right back here what um, this means is basically I will split the summary in three and I will learn them like the first part here the second part and then the last and third part um, I did the same for the strategic strategic one um, but I split it in two because it's not going to be the same amount as this one so this would be easier um we don't have exercises here so just to um, learn the first half here and then the second half before i start i have a few tips um something that you have to make sure is to make sure your desk is really clean make sure the environment that you are doing the, your school stuff in is clean and that it doesn't bother you you know um <clears throat> i normally use um lofi sounds if you know you know maybe i will put like a card i don't know if i can if i can do that but i use the lofi sounds because i struggle a lot with my concentration and it's very difficult for me to learn um with music because i will find myself singing <laughs> and not focusing on my school stuff so that too if you struggle with that the lofi sounds is very good maybe you could also use like the white noise i use white noise when i have to make exercises so that's also good um <clears throat> i use a candle when i i'm doing my school stuff um because like you know if you learn in like a clean environment and also it smells nice you have good music it will put you in a vibe that will motivate you and that's really really good so i would um my advice to you is to consider doing that one time um just combine those three combine those three that would be very good so i'm going to start right now i don't normally do my school stuff in my room because um i don't really have a desk that i could use i normally use my sister's room but there's a quite a few stuff in there um we have been using her room as like a storage room so um, I will have to clean a lot of stuff then before I could start and I don't have the time today So for now, I'm going to sit here and make the things also make sure you have a good chair Because otherwise you will get tired and get in pain and you wouldn't be comfortable doing your school stuff so make sure um, to consider all, all those things before you do your school work normally I eat before I start with my school stuff or um, when I take a break um, Because again my concentration is not that good um, I tend to sometimes take breaks that I I don't need 
but um, I make sure to not schedule a lot of things on the days that I have to do school stuff. Um, like for example, right now I don't have school anymore until the exam week. So I have a study week um, next week. So I have every day free. And then I would say that I could combine my school stuff and maybe going out like once a week or something. I don't really do that a lot. Um, but you could combine combine it if you don't have school. But if you have school, you're already losing time and then you have to do your school stuff and it's going to take a lot of time from you. So I wouldn't combine a lot of things when I'm busy. But for this time, it's very good. So I would say that I'm just going to do school stuff um i wouldn't say the whole day but um because i don't have anything scheduled i could take a break when i want to i could maybe scroll on tiktok meanwhile i'm working on a summary you know so i could do that if you have time if you don't have time you have to be strict on your breaks you you can only have breaks maybe every 45 minutes or something um you have to know what works for you because if you could concentrate for long hours, that's very good. So you could take maybe break every one hour. So make sure you know what you can do or what you cannot do and then you will decide um, your break time. But make sure you don't have a headache or you're hungry while doing your schoolwork because that also demotivates you. So that's also a good one to keep in mind. If I say like maybe two years ago, I didn't even combine doing when I and my exam week is coming up. I don't go out at all, like at all. But then I was like, wait, that's too much. Like, it's not that I don't have the time, but I wanted to like be focused on my school stuff because the exam week is coming, but it's not that deep. Like, if you can afford going out and you have like enough time to do your stuff, go out and have fun. But make sure you do your schoolwork too, you know? So you could combine those two, it's not impossible. I'm going to start with the economics one and I normally put my... um laptop like in tablet mode because then i would feel like i'm using a, an ipad and that's very good so i could just scroll um and i'm going to put my music on um i normally just listen to this one one thing i also forgot to mention like for this course of economics we have formulas and stuff for those types of courses i do written um summaries but for example for the um the strategic one we don't have um formulas and stuff so that one i could type easily you know so that's what i'm doing right now um i know the written summaries is old school but yeah that's the best for formulas for me so that's what i'm going to do for now i only have this one candle that i have since two years ago that feels weird because i'm addicted to candles but i didn't buy candles for like a year what but um it's the winter candy apple but i'm very addicted to candles and if you would love a video on my favorite candles let me know i would love to do that um and yeah so i'm going to light this up so i could start and also I forgot to mention to wear something comfortable and make sure your hair is not in your face, you know, so you would feel very comfortable. So when you have um, your school things to do, you don't feel distracted. And make sure you use colors too, okay? Don't make your summaries boring. Mm -hmm. I'm 
Okay, I'm done. This is everything I've done today. And this is the strategic one. This took like an hour and a half maybe. They were not that difficult because um, most of the times chapter 1 and 2 are like the introduction and they were. So that's why it was not that difficult. Because I'm done, I'm just going to do this. So I could feel like I accomplished something. It's getting there, you know, one step closer. I'm done for today and now we are going to continue repeating the same steps every day until I reach the end and until my exam week comes. So that was everything for this video. Don't forget about the tips I gave and also I forgot to mention like don't forget to drink your water. I think this is the perfect time to hydrate yourself because you will sit hours after your laptop or after your books and it's very good to hydrate yourself so don't forget to do that. I'm sending luck your way so you can pass all your exams all your exams i hope you learned a lot from this video um i'm so happy i finally did this video um for the longest i've been um doing my schoolwork this way and it really helped me reducing my stress and because i stress a lot and that's not good so i had to do something so if you stress a lot too with schoolwork, which is not worth it, do this, okay? It will help for sure. Focus on your health too. Because stress is not good, you should do something to reduce the stress, right? So this is the perfect method to reduce the stress, okay? So um, I hope you learned a lot and I hope you can do this too in the future maybe it could help you and if you have if you need any more tips or other things other advice from me reach out to me um my instagram will be right here and yeah you could send a dm anytime or leave something in the comment and i would love to know if you prefer um long videos like this one or you prefer like short videos maybe like 15 minutes or you prefer the 30 33 minutes you know i feel like i'm getting more comfortable with this camera and with talking to you guys like having a conversation i really love this so i wouldn't want to have it any other way but let me know in the comment section which one you prefer and um, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on my TikTok too because I have some good stuff coming. So I will see you in my next video. Bye!